Hi. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Manuel. I'm the product manager of our UI tool Embedded Wizard here at Terra Systems, and I'm very delighted to present you a couple of new products that we have provided with our software stack in terms of graphical user interfaces. Uh, so what are, you, what are you showing here? In fact, we have different products out there our customers are using, from consumer electronic devices, industrial applications, automotive, home appliances, and industrial as well as medical. All right, and so for example, this one has uh, I.MX MX RT, and then you, you make the PCB that makes it all work? Uh, in fact, no, and the hardware itself is done by our customers itself. We are providing the software, the GUI solution, in order to get some nice looking user interfaces and HMIs running on such embedded systems. All right. And what are some of the latest systems you work with? Uh, I'd like to highlight the ST, uh, STM32 U599, um, which is one of the brand new microcontrollers from ST Microelectronics. And something which is very nice to view at and look at is the power that you can achieve on a 160 megahertz microcontroller. And just have a look what fancy effects you can do on the new Neochrome GPU available on the new U599. What is this Neochrome GPU? The Neochrome GPU is the successor of the previously added uh, DMHD, the Chrome Art, uh, which is a graphic accelerator built into the chip that can yeah, uh, offload the CPU while running on uh, such a small embedded system. Because it's a Cort Cortex-M. Correct, it's a Cortex, as far as I remember, it's an could be an M7, but I'm, I'm, I'm a software guy, so I'm yeah, not a hard guy. It's a microcontroller. Guy. It's a microcontroller. The part Absolutely, on the yes, correct. And then it makes all kinds of fancy UI. Fancy UIs and very nice, at, as I said, 160 megahertz, um, and while offloading, the entire CPU. So CPU can do other things uh, and are free, um, whereas graphics are still there in order to get a yeah, nice and responsive user experience for the customer. Nice. Uh, what are this stuff you're showing here? Um, we're presenting our software and our services. Um, we are an independent software uh, vendor which provides software to different kind of uh, yeah, customers and um, domains. Um, and with our software stack, Embedded Wizard, we provide a very lean, versatile, scalable, and fast solution for the entire embedded world. I see a lot of other ST solutions around here. Uh, are there different kind of chips used? Yeah, sure. We have, as said before, the new one, uh, the U599 microcontroller. We have there the very famous H7, which is also a microcontroller. But on the left, we have the MP135, which is the new Let's MPU coming from ST Microelectronics. Let's go check it out. So. It's the next gen, it's not the MP1, but more stuff happening now. Yeah, and there the main focus is that we're doing the UI on the CPU only, and we can achieve a very high frame rate by utilizing the ARM Neon instruction set, which gives us a boost in terms of graphical rendering performance. Nice. Uh, is it, um, what, would you, what is the OS? Um, there we are running Linux. Uh, so it's a classical Yocto Linux. Of course, on the microcontroller itself, uh, we are running on Freeartos or bare metal, depending on customer needs. How, how good is a uh, Yocto? How, how smooth does it run on these STM30? Uh, honestly speaking, so we, we just use what is there. So it's not something our part. Yeah? It's available and uh, run out of the box. So we have no complaints on that. Nice. And uh, you also do a lot of different things here. Yeah, so it's, uh, as I said before, we're independent software vendor, hence not only relying on ST, but also on other semiconductor manufacturers like NXP, Renaissance, uh, Ambic, Infineon, uh, also Giga Device, Espressive. So, in fact, everywhere where you can find a display is something where you can find an embedded wizard. What's one of the other it. coolest new platforms you have here? Uh, hold on, let me double check. Uh, perhaps something, of course, worth to mention is um, the uh, NXP out of the Mix 8, but this is more or less a cash car for NXP because that's the, the um, stack that's available um, since many, many months. Meanwhile, but I'd like to highlight the Renaissance. This is the RZ uh, G2L, and um, the RZ G2L, and this one uh, is the highlight that we are using blurring and shading for presenting nice graphs on the display. Nice. Uh, how long have you been a uh, Wizards? 
in the embedded? Uh, we are doing this for many, many years. Embedded Wizard has been deployed to the market for more than 20 years meanwhile, and it's not the first uh, generation that we are providing. In fact, it's already the fourth generation of your IT is providing to the market. Fourth generation of what? Yes, of your I software stack for the market. So uh, on, the, on the TV there, is, is this like a development platform of your UI, or what's happening there? Um, on the screen, On the screen, we see our portfolio that we can do. Of course, we have the software stack, but we also provide services to the market uh, so that customers can accelerate their own UI development. And there we are showing customer cases um, in different domains, as well as the tooling itself, in order to accelerate customers to get their UI up and running on the target. And uh, because when they get a product out on the market, they don't need to call you all the time to update it all the time. They, they can, uh, they can no. update no. themselves later. Otherwise, we would get mad. Huh? Yeah. Um, no, we have a very sophisticated stack out there. Um, great documentation. Uh, of course, support is there. But the main aspect is Embedded Wizard is completely developed by ourselves. So we have the full control in the entire vertical integration chain and have everything under our control because there are no third parties and no open source stacks used. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.